doing, I'm making, uh, mm, this is a really bad idea. I'm sipping on a flavorful cappuccino before I slam myself with alcohol. This is going to be a hell of a conference. Just wait until you see what we have planned for the end game. That is all I'm allowed to tell you right now. This it's is the ring. Big it's the golden ring. World premiere. So this one might be a half because there's going to be a lot of world premieres. I feel like Jeff, Jeff loves that shit. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go early and say world premiere. I'm going to take a full one this time, but you guys don't have to. Wonderlands. That's actually a really good name. That's a fucking great name, if that's what it ends up being. Oh, boy. All right. Yep. It's a fantasy Borderlands. I thought we were over sparkle unicorns and butt stallions. This is like very 2010s internet humor. I guess that's that's Gearbox. Yep, it shot a rainbow out of its unicorn. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's a great name. That's a great name. Roll for initiative, suckers! Fucking Christ. That's a great game I will never play. <laughs> Cheers. Or a great name of a game I will never play. Cheers. A classic 90s franchise is coming back to life as oh, a no. grid-based tactical strategy title oh, no. for Steam on PC. Which one? Which this 90s franchises are left? Oh, it's fucking Metal Slug. Never mind. I did not expect a new Metal Slug title. Oh my gosh, those sound effects. I mean, this music, can you... This is not like typical tactical game music. Hello, mystery guest. Oh, it's best buddy, Hideo Kojima. Mr. Kojima, it is so good to see you. Ah, uh, Jeff, Jeff. Oh, one more thing. Oh! Kujijima! No way. Is he gonna world premiere us? Oh, okay. PS5 port of Death Stranding. Oh my god, it's a fucking Metal Gear style. <laughs> That's a Metal Gear level. That's awesome. Oh! Now that, calling it a director's cut actually fascinates me. Because if it's gonna have, like, additional content and commentary from Kojima or the rest of the design staff that's what i'm super into and i was he looks like an elf uh if there might be some video game world premieres ah! it's a world um premiere so called evolved you guessed it see brad world premiere i already took a shot with that <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, it's a Jurassic Park game. Are you fucking for real? I'm gonna go get another bottle of vodka because I've already blown out the one that I have. So one second. We're thrilled to announce the upcoming Western release of a spectacular 3D massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Welcome to the world of Lost Ark from Smilegate RPG and Amazon Games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. If you're an Amazon Prime member, and most of you probably are, okay. you get a ton of gaming <clears throat> goodies every month. This month, you yep. can download Jeff, you don't get to cash that check for free, huh? Yeah, you gotta hashtag out a little bit on the tail end, huh? And there are special in-game benefits and perks. Now, we've got a surprise guest joining us, my fellow Canadian... Is it Kojima Ryan again? Ryan oh. Reynolds. Hey, Ryan. I know what you're thinking, and no, I'm, I'm not here to announce I'm the star of Elden Ring. I think. Instead, no, I'm making a... I'm here to talk. Make friends and draw on anything. I like it. Check out Chikori A Colorful Tale on PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 after the show. Nope. The Final Fantasy Remake is out, my man. Here's your first very, very exclusive but very, very quick tease to whet your ap appetite with more to be revealed later this Kojima? month during Summer Game Fest. Is it Kojima? Does it count? I mean, it said world premiere, so I'm going to take a shot for that. World premiere. I couldn't tell if somebody had to like say it out loud or if it's just on screen. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Finally, Bionicles and Valorant. This year, I am thrilled to have Netflix as a part of Summer Game Fest. They have been doing. We're, I'm thrilled too, Jeff. Jobs. Games, movies, zombies, animation. Love to see it. Love to see it. Thank you for the intro. Show here. me I'm that really excited to sweet, have this sweet ponytail. Edition, which on a new game in the Painkiller franchise. Yay! Yay! All right, very cool on Yay! that. And there are more details on Wait, that was it? That's all we get from Todd? Next up is a That's brand it. new- Oh boy, and we got some ruby shit. Dohilim Ilkaris. The Renans and the Danans. I am Abatu al it abdi tabla dabla dab. I'm Captain Kisara of the Elderman and- Have fun writing that out on the front of a Funko box. I am the taciturn female lead. Maybe given enough time, I'll fall in love with the protagonist. Provided we're half submerged in water at some point. Bullock, get the hell out of my realm. World premiere. Let's take a look at another world premiere. Monster Hunter Stories is coming to the Switch. He said world July. premiere. Fuck. We've got your first look at the story trailer. World premiere. Okay, so I'm changing the rule uh, now. 
only verbal world premieres count. And they are still a full shot. Wings of but it's it's hitting me. I'm getting hit right now. I'm getting into E3 mode. The, uh, stories two. I don't know there was one. And it was so in in, in line with what's going on in the world politically today. And what don't say that, John Carlo. It's a Ubisoft game. Opportunity. Nope. The other part of it is it has nothing to do with what's going on. Far Cry 1 was rad. Far Cry 2 tried something. Far Cry 3 was just populist trash. And then we've been off to the races ever since then. There, I said it. I do agree. What? Yo, why, do, why doesn't that bean have tits and butt? I guess, I guess it... <laughs> 2B is more of an ass girl, but damn! I would be mad, but there's already a 2B outfit in Final Fantasy XIV, so it works out. I'm excited for this game. Very much. Any Left 4 Dead like, I'm all about. And this is from this is from the OGs. Evolve didn't work out, so. Gotta go back to the well. Finally, time! Elden Ring! Yes. Oh, okay, it is Bandai Namco. Really? We have a hooded lady whispering at me already? Boy, we're just... I don't want this to just be Souls again. I mean, if it is another Souls game, fine. All right. Okay, all right, okay. I'm getting like Metal Gear Solid vibe, or five vibes from the open world. We got dodge rolls and blocks. We got a charge move. Will die. We got a level up lady in a hood. In an unending curse. We got horse jumps. Wolfman's. Okay, there's a lot getting implied here. Oh! Co op spirits. So I'm gonna guess that the horse jump is like you get abilities that help you traverse an open world. I'm gonna guess it's a Souls Metroidvania. Um, which is pretty rad. And a lot of this monster design is, is A+. Plus. But so far, I don't see anything that would make this not Demon Souls... Or, sorry, Dark Souls 4. Not that it has to be, but whatever. The Elden Ring. For all of us. Rad. Absolutely rad. Ooh. It's even got the iconography. Like, Nightman dying with a sword. That was a solid showing for Elden Ring. I'm intrigued. Uh, f I mean, for me, a, a big, a big reason that I play through any Souls game is just to see the art, the artistic design of new environments, new bosses, and boy, did it seem like that that game's gonna have it in spades. 